So the first operation that can be performed on multiple random variable is the expected value of a function of joint random variable, okay? So here, what is that we are doing? We are taking g of x comma y, which is function of two random variables, x and y, with a joint density function, it is given as f x y of x comma y, okay? The expected value of g of x comma y is given as g bar is equal to expected value of g of x comma y, okay? So since it is function of two random variables, we will be having two integrations. One integral is with respect to x, the other integral is with respect to y. So g bar is equal to integral minus infinity to plus infinity, integral minus infinity to plus infinity g of x comma y, f x y of x comma y dx d1. The next we'll discuss what is the joint moments. The joint moments can be of five types here. We are discussing all this. All this comes under joint moments only. The first one is joint moment about the origin, correlation, joint central moments, covariance, and co correlation coefficients. These are the things comes under joint moments. Okay. So first we will discuss what is joint moment about the origin. Okay. So the joint moment about the origin of two random variables x and y is nothing but what? It is the expected value of a function g of x comma y, where g of x comma y is nothing but x power n y power k. So what is g of x comma y? It is equal to x power n y power k. So the expected value of x power n y power k is called the joint moment about the origin. Okay. How do we denote? We denote it as m n k. Okay. So m and k is equal to expected value of x power n, y power k. Since we have two random variables here, we will be having two integrations. The integral minus infinity to plus infinity for x, the integral minus infinity to plus infinity for y, okay. x power n, y power k, f x y of x comma y, d, uh, dx dy, okay. So whereas the moment about the origin, what is moment about the origin? It is the expected value of x power n, that's all. So since it is joint moment about the origin, we have to take two random variables. Here we have taken two random variables, x and y. So the function g of x comma y is equal to what? x power n, y power k. The expected value of x power n, y power k is called the joint moment about the origin, okay? How do we denote? We denote it as m and k. So it is equal to integral minus infinity to plus infinity, integral minus infinity to plus infinity x power n, y power k, fx y of x comma y dx d y. Okay. Now here n and k are positive integers. Okay. Then the sum n plus k, n plus k will give us the order of the moment. The sum n plus k give us the order of the moment. Okay. For example, if k is equal to zero. If k is equal to 0, what is this? k value is 0, no? So this becomes m n 0. This becomes what? m n 0. So it is nothing but expected value of x power n, y power 0. y power 0 value is 1, yes or no? So m n 0 is nothing but what? Expected value of x power n. So expected value of x power n is nothing but the movement of x, yes or no? What is this? This is called moment of x. This is the formula for moment of x, okay? Similarly, if n is equal to zero, so you get x power zero. x power zero is one, no? So what we get? We get m zero k. Because n is zero, no? m zero k is equal to what? Expected value of y power k. Because x power zero is one, so we will be left with y power k, okay? So what is this equation called? This is the equation of moment about uh, moment of y. Okay. So this is the equation for moment of y. Okay. Now first we will find out what is first order moment. What is order? Order is nothing but n plus k. If you add n and k, you should get value one. Then it is called first order. Okay. So here we have maybe we'll be having n is equal to one or k is equal to one. Okay. If you take n is equal to 1, we get m n 0. m n 0 is equal to what? See here, m n 0. m n 0 is equal to what? 
expected value of x. It is nothing but expected value of x. So it is nothing but x bar. Okay. So what is x bar? It is integral minus infinity to plus infinity. Integral minus infinity to plus infinity x f x y of x comma y dx dy. Okay. Similarly, if n is equal to zero and k is equal to one, if n is equal to zero and k is equal to one, we get m zero one. It is equal to what? If expected value of y we get because k is one, no. So what is that? We get expected value of y. So it is equal to what? Y bar. So what is the formula for y bar? Since uh, even though it is y bar here, you have to take two integrals because what is that we have considered here? We have considered the joint distribution function. We, since we are considering the joint distribution fun density function, you have to consider two integrations, integral minus infinity to plus infinity, integral minus infinity to plus infinity y, f x y of x comma y dx dy. Okay. Now, what is the second order moment? The second order moment is nothing but n plus k value is equal to 2. So what are the different cases we have such that we get the value is equal to 2, either n is equal to 0, k is equal, to, sorry, n is equal to 2, k is equal to 0, then we get value 2, n is equal to 0 and k is equal to 2. Then also we get value is equal to 2, both n is equal to 1 and k is also equal to 1. Then also we get value two. Okay, these are the three cases where we get the order is equal to two. Order of the moment is equal to two. Okay, how do you find out order? We have to add m and n, m and k. If m and k is equal to zero, two, then we call it as second order moment. Okay. Now if m is equal to see here m two zero, m two zero. So here n is two, k is equal to zero. So it is nothing but what expected value of x square. It is expected value of x square. Similarly, m02, m02 is nothing but what expected value of y square. Okay. So it is expected value of y square. Similarly, m11. Okay. So here also you just add 1 plus 1. So you get 2. No? So it is also second order moment. Okay. So it is nothing but the expected value of x1. Okay. So now uh, we have discussed that the point coordinates x bar and y bar. What is x bar? M10, M01. Okay. So M10 gives us x bar, M01 gives us y bar. So this x bar and y bar is called the center of gravity of the function fxy of x comma y. Okay. So if you are taking this function fxy of x comma y, the center of gravity of this function is denoted as x bar and y bar. What is x bar and y bar? X bar and y bar are first order joint moments. Okay. So it is the first order joint moment. Okay. So this is about the joint moments about the origin. What is joint moment about the origin? So we have to find out the expected value of x power and y power k. So since it is function of two random variables, we have two integrations here. Okay, this we have discussed and we also discussed that n plus k gives us the order of the moment. Okay, now from this, uh, what is that we have found? We have found that the first order, order of the moment will give us mean value. What is m10? It is the mean value of x. m01 will give us the mean value of y. And the second order moments are nothing but m20 is expected value of x square. So this is nothing but mean square value, okay? So m02 is nothing but expected value of y square and m11 is nothing but expected value of x y, okay? And we have already seen that the first order moments will give us the mean values x bar and y bar, is or no? So this x bar and y bar, will give us what is the center of gravity of the function f x y of x comma y okay so next next topic under this is correlation consider two random variables x and y the second order joint moment m11 is called correlation of x and y okay so what is m11 is called the correlation of x and y okay so how do we denote this correlation? We denote it as R x y. Okay. So
So we denote it as R X Y. So R X Y is equal to what? M 1 1. Okay. So it is nothing but expected value of X Y. So what is M 1 1 is nothing but the expected value of X Y that is equal to integral minus infinity to plus infinity integral minus infinity to plus infinity x y f x y of x comma y dx dy okay now this is for continuous case now we'll discuss what is the formula for discrete random variable okay the case of discrete random variable instead of integration here instead of integration what we have we'll be having summation okay and we have x m by n so instead of uh, density function here what we'll be having here will be having probability mass function that is p x y of x1 comma y n okay so this is about correlation what is a correlation correlation is that nothing but the second order joint moment okay and uh, this can also be written as what r x y is equal to m11 that is nothing but expected value of x y so that is equal to integral minus infinity to plus infinity integral minus infinity to plus infinity x y f x f x y of x comma y dx dy okay so this is for the equation of correlation for continuous random variable now if you want to write what is the equation for correlation in the discrete random variable it is given as r x y is equal to summation m summation n okay xm by n p x y of xm by n okay so this is the formula for the correlation in the case of discrete random variable and now we'll discuss what are the properties of correlation okay so here we have two properties of correlation the first one is if two random variables x and y if two random variables x and y are statistically independent if these two are statistically independent then x and y are said to be uncorrelated and what is that if uh, two random variables are statistically independent then we say that x and y are uncorrelated that is what is r x y is equal to expected value of x y no so that is equal to expected value of x into expected value of y okay then we say that these two are uncorrelated okay so now we'll see the proof of this here we have considered two random variables x and y with the joint density function f x y of x comma y and the marginal density function f x of x okay and f y of x y okay so if x and y are statistically independent so this we have discussed in the previous chapter if x and y are statistically independent what is the condition it will satisfy the joint density function will be equal to product of marginal density functions okay so that is f x y of x comma y is equal to f x of x into f y of y okay so this is the condition it will be satisfied when two random variables are statistically independent okay so here the correlation is uh, given as r x y is equal to what it is expected value of x x y okay what is the formula now so integral minus infinity to plus infinity integral minus infinity to plus infinity x y f x y of x comma y dx dy okay so now what we do here we have discussed that x and y are statistically independent okay so if these two are statistically independent then f x y of x comma y will be equal to f x of x and f y of y okay so that is why f x y of x comma y we are writing it as f x of x in, into f y of y okay now we separate these two integrals this can be written as integral minus infinity to plus infinity x f x of x dx integral minus infinity to plus infinity y f y of y dy so this first equation is nothing but the expected value of x the second equation is nothing but the expected value of y okay so from this we can say that a r x y if two random variables are statistically independent r x y is equal to expected value of x into expected value of y okay now what is the second property here if the random variable 
x and y are orthogonal if the random variables are orthogonal okay then their correlation is zero what is their correlation will be zero that is r x y is equal to r x y is equal to zero okay now what is orthogonal orthogonal says that the the what is the angle difference between those two random variables will be 90 degrees okay so if it is 90 degrees what is r x y is equal to zero okay now consider two random variables x and y with the density function f x of x and f y of y okay these are the two random variables with the density function f x of x and f y of y okay if x and y are said to be orthogonal okay what is the joint occurrence is zero that is f x y of x comma y will be equal to zero because those two are orthogonal so what is the density function f x y of x comma y will be equal to zero therefore what is the correlation the correlation is given as r x y is equal to expected value of expected value of x y so what is the formula integral minus infinity to plus infinity integral minus infinity to plus infinity x y f x y of x comma y dx d y okay so since f x y of x comma y is zero no f x y of x comma y is zero for orthogonal uh, orthogonal uh, random variables okay so that is why r x y correlation will be equal to zero so r x y is equal to expected value of x comma y is equal to zero for uh, two orthogonal random variables okay these are the properties of uh, correlation